hi guys welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about one stop center scheme and in this session we will first discuss what is the need for one stop center scheme and then we will discuss the background to the evolution of uh, one stop center scheme then we will discuss the objectives of one stop center scheme and then we will discuss the services uh, which provided by uh, uh, which are provided by one stop center and um, uh, then we'll discuss about uh, Ujwala scheme as uh, these schemes are related. Uh, so this is how we plan this session. Let's now start. So guys, one stop center scheme addresses uh, gender based violence and it was implemented from the 1st April 2015. And the major uh, aim of the scheme is to facilitate access to a wide range of services to women affected by violence and uh, if you see what is the need for one stop center scheme there are several manifestations of uh, gender based violence in india and they not only include uh, the universally prevalent forms of domestic and sexual violence like rape sexual harassment child sexual abuse but also uh, trafficking for commercial sexual exploitation harmful practices such as honor killings, dowry, child marriage, acid attacks, uh, witch hunting, sex selective abortion, etc. And for the purpose of uh, uh, purpose to address uh, such violence and help women in distress, a centrally sponsored scheme by the government for setting up a one-stop center has been formulated by the government. And the one-stop center scheme is a sub-scheme of a national mission for empowerment of women which also includes the Indira Gandhi Madhritva Sakhi Yojana and the scheme is funded by Nirbhaya Fund and under this scheme uh, complete financial assistance will be provided by the center to the states and the union territories. Uh, now discuss a brief background uh, to the evolution of one stop uh, center scheme. We all know that uh, we have the Nirbhaya Fund which was established for women's safety and one-stop crisis centers were recommended uh, to be established by the 12th plan working group on women's agency and empowerment and in 2013 usha mahara commission submitted a report stating the need for a one-stop center at a notified hospital uh, to help a victim of uh, sexual assault and in 2015 the one-stop center scheme was implemented and one-stop uh, centers have been established across the country in a phased manner. The phase one, uh, one one stop center uh, per state and UT, and uh, in the phase two, 150 additional one stop centers in 2016 and 17. And as of July 2019 data, 462 one stop centers have been set up. And the highest number of one stop centers is at Uttar Pradesh, uh, which have uh, 75 numbers, followed by Madhya Pradesh, which got uh, uh, 51 one stop centers. Uh, so this is the background of one stop center scheme and uh, now discuss uh, what are the objectives of one stop uh, center scheme. The intention of uh, one stop uh, scheme is to support women affected by the violence that they may face within the family or at the workplace or within the community in private or public places and a support mechanism and redressal for women are some of the facilities of this scheme uh, for a woman who face sexual, physical, psychological, emotional, economic abuse irrespective of their caste, creed, race, class, education status, age, culture or marital status and specialized services would be provided uh, to the agreed woman facing any kind of violence due to attempted acid attacks, uh, witch hunting, uh, domestic violence trafficking, sexual assault or sexual harassment and have reached out or been referred uh, to the one-stop uh, center. Uh, so this is about the objectives and now uh, we'll discuss what are the one-stop center services. The services provided under the Saki one-stop center schemes are medical assistance, police assistance, psychosocial supporting and counseling, legal aid and counseling, shelter and video conferencing facility and the centers will be integrated with a woman helpline uh, to facilitate access to emergency response and rescue services, medical assistance, assistance to women in lodging the FAR, psychosocial support and counseling, legal aid and counseling, shelter and video conferencing facility. Uh, so these are the services uh, mainly offered by the one-stop centers 
and uh, uh, guys it's a very important uh, scheme with regard to your preparation please study about this in detail it can be an expected question in uh, uh, prelims examination so please study about this and uh, that's all for today we'll meet tomorrow with uh, another topic thank you for watching this lesson